What's up, everybody? What's up? I'm here with Miss Nikki Nelson. She's here to share her story with you guys. Say what's up, Nikki. Hey. Hey. So I have Nikki on today um, because I handpicked her story for you all to hear. I thought it was something that could really encourage a lot of you, that could really help a lot of you with the struggles um, that you're dealing with now, that you have dealt with for a long time. Uh, for those of us who have been through a lot of things in our lives, sometimes it's hard to see like where we're going because of like what we've went through. And uh, Nikki is a fair testament of like what transformation looks like. She's had an amazing um, transformation herself. You've lost like what, like 32 pounds and 27 inches or something, right? Um, actually, I'm up to 34 pounds and 32 inches. Dang, that's so amazing. And uh, the reason I have Nikki on with you guys is because uh, she is just a freaking rock star. She is like a hero. Um, she's just gone before you and she's done it. And uh, she's dealt with a lot of stuff in life. And she's a mom. She works over 60 hours a week and she still makes it happen. So Nikki, tell them why you're in your car right now. Um, because actually I'm still at work. Um, I'm like, I actually pulled into the office, so I wasn't talking to y'all on like the side of some highway somewhere with <laughs> crazy traffic. I would have been like run over by like a big truck. <laughs> oh. and I just came that can get done. Yeah. And so guys, Nikki is like, she's just like no excuses mentality. I love that about her. And Nikki, I'm not sure if we lost you or not, but I'll tell you guys a little bit. Oh, no, you're right there. Okay, so with Nikki, she's, like, doing all this, and she's, like, no excuses. She's, like, I'm going to get done anyway. This girl, tell them how far you drive to get to the gym. Um, I drive 45 minutes in an hour, um, and usually it's sometimes about 8 or 9 o'clock at night after a 16-hour shift. Wow, and some of us won't drive 10 minutes to the gym. That was me, so I'm allowed to say it. Um, okay, so Nikki, why don't you tell them a little bit about your backstory? So um, basically, I want you to tell them um, the first part of your story that you told me about how you were raised, about like the things that you had to overcome when you were younger, uh, because you have a very powerful story. Um, I was born premature. Um, I was born at 26 weeks. I weighed a pound and two ounces. A I was pound and two weight. ounces? A pound and two ounces. I was wow. on life support for um, I was adopted when I was a year and a half. Um, my foster mom passed away when I was nine. Um, I, you know, through through high school and through college, you know, I've, I've had a lot of people pick on me. I got bullied and dumped in when I was in college. Um, I've been through a bad marriage and a divorce. And, you know, it's just kind of one thing after another. And I've, I've tried different diets and, you know, different stuff. And I never could, you know, stick to anything. And, you know, you just got to, like, pick a day and just do it. You know, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, so what was, like, that moment for you when you decided to come out of, like, um, you know, all this stuff that had happened to you and we're kind of like in the, like in the pit of life, right? Like you're kind of at rock bottom. What, what was that moment for you that you decided like, this, it ends now. Like I'm going to start, like I'm going to do something about my health. I'm going to do something about the way that I feel about myself. Cause you said before that you didn't have like much self-confidence in yourself and um, you know, you had a lot of negative self-talk and like, we're usually putting yourself down and stuff like that. So what was the moment for you that you decided that you were going to change all of that? Um, I had ripped all the thighs out of all my jeans. I lived in sweatpants and I refused to buy more jeans and I refused to buy bigger shirts. And I literally had nothing to wear. And I was crying in my mirror because I wanted to wear jeans and I had no jeans that would fit me and I was not about to go to the store. So I said, I'm tired of living like this. I'm going to get in a pair of jeans. And now I went from a size 10, 12 jeans to a size 1, 2 jeans. Wow. Holy crap. So you just like put yourself against the wall. You're like, if I'm going to fit in these clothes, like I'm going to wear no clothes. <laughs> right? Pretty much. Yes, That's pretty basically. much. 
Wow, that's like that is one way to do it. And you said you told me that um you had tried a lot of stuff before. Like you were someone who like cycled through doing stuff. What's like some of the crazy stuff that you did? Um, I tried juicing. Um, I tried different diets. Um, actually tried like a fruit and vegetable diet. Like you don't eat like no meat. You just eat fruits and vegetables. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I tried fasting and I thought I was like starving to death. Um, I tried like all kinds of crazy stuff where like you only eat like so many hours of the day. Right. Like, I think it's like four or five. Like, you're supposed to eat all your calories and that. I couldn't do it. Like, I like I became very hangry. Very hangry. <laughs> I also suffer from hangriness, so it's okay. <laughs> My poor husband. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, so, and then, um, so what, what, like, conclusion did you come through after, like, doing all that stuff? Were you just like, I'm over it? Like, I'm just, like, over all this stuff? I just want to be able to have a healthy lifestyle? Like, what made you... Um, decide to like give up all of the the yo-yoing stuff like it never worked like I lost the weight but it was only temporary like right. you know it's either water weight and I gained it all back or like it was pretty much like I was like starving myself and I would gain it all back and I wanted to like do something where I was actually like had the results that like stayed and actually another thing is like I got bored of everything like, right I got bored of doing one diet for a little while so I do something else you know, and I wanted something that I could stick with. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well, I mean, 34 pounds now, I'd say that's pretty freaking awesome results, right? Like you're crushing it. Um, I loved what you uh, said to me about how like when you started, you weren't perfect. And I feel like so many women out there, they feel like they have to start and like everything's going to be perfect and they mess up and they're like, oh, well, I messed up. So I have to like fall off, you know, and um, and you said it perfect. But you're like, I didn't, I wasn't perfect, but I just started like at the beginning and, and slowly I got better. So why don't you tell the women like what that was like at the beginning of starting, like that you didn't try to like be perfect and you weren't perfect and what that looked like. Um, I, when I first started, like I changed either like my snacks or my meals for the day. Mm-hmm. Like I still, you know, it wasn't something that I just did like overnight. I mean, I started eating healthy. Like I, I didn't go out eating more um, fast food. I, I haven't had fast food now in like nine months. That's awesome. um, I would eat like at least like have like a protein shake or a hard boiled eggs or something in the morning. And then have with something a little bit like unhealthy. I don't even remember what you'd call an unhealthy lunch anymore. Right. Apple. Um, and then like have like a somewhat decent dinner and then it got, and I would go for a walk. Like I didn't start going to the gym. I was terrified of the gym because I thought there was just a whole bunch of bulky men in there that would like laugh at me. Hold on. Um, Quick question. Is the gym actually like that? What? I said, is the gym actually like that? Is the gym Some of like the big, like bulky guys now, like high five me when I come in the gym. Yes. Ooh, that's so awesome. That's and they so always tell awesome. me I'm doing great. And I actually had one over the weekend. He was like, you know, no offense, but he was like, you look great. He's like, you're doing great. And he's like, you just glow. He's I just have like a new like self confidence level. And it made that's me feel so awesome. awesome. So why don't you tell us more about that? Like compared to how you used to think about yourself, like even just a year ago, compared to now, like how different is that? It's a lot different. Um, and it. It took a while. I mean, we all have bad days. I mean, there's still times where, like, I'll eat a cheat meal and I'm bloated and I'll look in the mirror and be like, oh, you look awful. (laughs) I try not to have that so much, you know, self-negative talk about myself. But, I mean, we're we're human. We we all do it. Um, I have fallen off the wagon, you know, and hit every sweet pothole along the way, you know. And it, it happens. And I've been doing this for months. And, you know, not too long ago, I was eating, you know, Cadbury eggs for breakfast. I was one of the people. are eggs, right? Like yes. the cows. <laughs> and I did it for like a week or two. And then I was like, you know, I didn't want the old me to win. Yeah. You know? So I was like, you know. That's good. Gonna, Guys, write that down. Don't, yeah. don't yeah. let the old you win. Exactly. Write that down. Exactly. You know, and we it happens you know and 
you just keep going, you know, even if you have like a, a bad meal, you don't just keep eating bad for the rest of the day. You know, you have a bad lunch, you eat a better dinner and then you, you know, you start over the next day. You don't have to, yeah. you know, Monday or the summer, you know, whatever. You just pick yourself back up. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Just pick yourself back up and get right back on track. Right. It's not about being perfect. Basically, a healthy lifestyle comes back to like, how fast can you get yourself back on track? Like, is it after like one meal? Is it after one thought? Is it after like after one temptation? Like, how fast can you get yourself back on track? Right. And yeah. so um, for you, like when you start on this awesome journey, right, like you're someone who's like been through all of this stuff in your life, like a lot of heartbreak, a lot of hurt. And, you know, you're making it happen, which is super inspiring. And I just want to ask you, like, was there any resistance from the people around you? Like once you started on your transformation journey, once you started eating healthier, exercising and that kind of thing, like, was there people that like pushed back against you? There was, there was actually a lot of people. Um, some of my friends, like they would want to go and hang out and I would be like, you know, I got to go to the gym and they would get all, all booty hurt over it because I chose the gym over them. And then the holidays were the worst. Um, especially we did that hot over the holidays and yeah. we went to Thanksgiving and I didn't have any desserts and like my family were awful. They're like, you know, that one piece of pie is not going to hurt you or, you know, it's just one cookie. And, you know, I told them that I didn't want to do it. You know, I have goals and they were kind of upset because like, um, grandma makes like the best chocolate pecan pie ever. And I feel like, you know, I've had that pecan pie for years now, not eating it for one year is not going to kill me. Yeah. And right? that's kind of how I explained it to her. You know, she did say I look good, though. So that kind of helped a little bit. But it so was what do you say? What do you say to these women who are listening right now who are maybe like feeling that same resistance from people around them right now? Um, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. I mean, not everyone's going to have like a supportive spouse or a supportive family member or right. friend. You know, and sometimes it's best to talk to them and explain to them why you're doing it. You know, you're doing it to help you and possibly help them, you know, in the long run. You know, if, you know, if you have kids, you know, you be able to play you know, more with your kids or be more active with your spouse. You know, they may not understand what you're doing right now, but I mean, later you can show them, you know, this is why I was doing this, you know, to help me and to benefit me. And, you know, you just have to tell them, you know, give them your why and try to explain to them on a different level about why you're doing it. Yeah, that's perfect. I love, like, just break it down for them. Like, instead of just being like, oh, I'm going to eat healthy and start exercising now, it kind of, like, puts a lot of people into shock mode, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, does that mean I have to start doing it too? Like, they start freaking out. And so exactly. if you break it down to them, be like, here's the long-term reasons of why I'm doing this. And I just want your support and you on board with me and just know that, like, these are my goals and those don't bleed onto you if you don't want them to be your goals. Like, don't feel like I'm ever going to make you uncomfortable. And uh, if you approach it that way, I found that, um, you know, people seem to, to take it easier and go easier on you uh, when you do that. So for these women that are on here that are kind of um, going through and having to overcome stuff in their life right now, maybe it's uh, going through a divorce, maybe it's uh, stuff from their childhood or Maybe it's, uh, you know, abuse or, you know, just all this bad stuff. Like all of us have a story, right? Like all of us have crap that we've been through. And for all these women on here that have those same things, like what would you say to them? You know, just it may seem it may seem rough right now, but I mean, it, it does get better. You know, we have we have this this one body and, you know, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not promised tomorrow, you know. And I know that mentality of, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow or, you know, I'll do it next week or Monday, you know, but we're not guaranteed that. So you have this moment now, you know, do it now and don't let like 10 or 15 Mondays pass you by and you wish you would have started now. You know, it, it's not going to be easy, you know, but you have to start somewhere. You have to put one foot in front of the other and just start. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in the same spot. Yeah, that's so good. That's so good. One foot in front of the other. You're going to be stuck in the same spot. Y'all better write that down. That's a nugget. That's what you call a nugget right there. 
<laughs> so what's your what's your goal moving forward from now? Like you've already lost 34 pounds. Like how many inches did you say? Uh, 32. 32. Oh my goodness. So you've already lost all this, but like, what's the next goal for you? What's the next thing you want to accomplish? Um, I'm actually studying to be a health and wellness consultant. You know, I want to help other women, you know, no matter their situation or what they may be going through, you know, let them know that it is doable. You know, you just have to, you just have to start and you just have to do it. Um, I want to maintain, you know, my healthy lifestyle. It's not something that you just do until you reach a healthy goal weight or healthy size. You know, you got to keep doing it because, you know, if you don't, you're just going to gain all that weight back. So I still plan on going to the gym and maintaining, eating healthy, you know, and you just, you just make it your life no matter what. You can't just quit in the middle of it. Otherwise, you're right back to square one. Yes. So give us one tip for all the women on here who maybe have like a crazy work schedule like you and have kids like running all over the place. And like you're trying to get like somebody to this practice and somebody to this thing and somebody to piano and somebody to whatever. And then here you are like still making it to the gym and like eating healthy and all this stuff. Like give us like your biggest tip on being able to do that. Um, schedule an, an hour for yourself a day. I mean, I feel like everybody else gets the rest of the time. You should at least get an hour for yourself. Yeah. Um, I wake up at 3.30 in the morning and work out, and I leave for work at 5. Or I get home at 8 or 9 o'clock at night and then work out, and I'm eating dinner at, like, 10.30 or 11. You know, you have to commit. and You have to sacrifice in something. Otherwise, you know, you may be sacrificing your health later. You know, sacrifice an hour for yourself now. Otherwise, that hour later, you might be in the doctor's office somewhere because you're sick or, you know, they're telling you that you have the medical condition because you didn't start this now. Right. That's so good. So you're telling me that I only have to give an hour a day, right? I don't have to, like, work out for, like, four hours? No. Oh, I don't? Nope. Oh, Yes. (laughs) <laughs> so you guys heard it from Nikki herself, a woman who works 60 hours a week. How many kids do you have? Actually, I have none. Oh, no I, oh I thought you said, I thought in your email it said you had kids. No, ma'am. I do want oh. kids, though. Actually, oh, you I want kids. Them. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was actually the reason why I'm losing weight is because I do want to try to start having kids. So oh, that's awesome. That's one of my well, goals. Maybe I was just prophesying for you. Maybe it was just like things to come. Maybe I will, I will get back to you on that. Yeah, that's awesome. So, you know, you heard it from her. Like she works 60 hours a week. She has a crazy schedule. She's literally in between jobs right now, like in her car doing this Facebook live with us um, to share a little bit about her life and her story. And um, for those of you who um, are on here and, and relate to her, make sure you comment and tell her a great job. And thank you because she's giving you guys her time to be able to, you know, share a little bit of herself with you. For those of you who are going through the same thing and trust there's a lot more than you think that are struggling with these types of things so I super 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 appreciate your time is there anything else that you want to leave these ladies with before we go Uh, just start now and not later like right now right now like right now like right now what about tomorrow though no tomorrow don't work no today today like now like Like right now like right after this go to the gym is that what you're saying that's right. Or go to the grocery store. Yep. Or go clean out your pantry at home. That's right. Go get right, right now. Right now. Right yes, now. I love it. You guys heard it from Nikki, not me. But Nikki, thank you so much for your time and inspire all these women. I'm reading all these comments right now. I'm just blown away. Um, you know, they are just like crazy for you. That's so awesome. And just congratulations on everything that you've done because you know you're super inspiring and you've motivated all these women beyond belief and. Um, I just appreciate you sharing um, your story with us today. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Nikki. Say bye. bye.